So you want to learn programming. With the new year coming up, it is the best time to get started. With over 10 years of experience, I'm going to explain to you how I would do it if I would start over again right now. In this video, we will cover a step-by-step -step explanation on how to get started, what resources I would use, and how I would pick my first project. So let's get started. The first step to get started is to pick your programming language. Each programming language has their own advantage and drawback. And every programmer you talk to will have a different opinion on any of them. So instead of just telling you what language to learn, let's do a speed run through what languages I would recommend you start with, depending on what it is you want to do or why you want to learn to program. In case you want to learn game development, there are three options. You can learn C Sharp and Unity, C++ and Unreal, or Godot and Godot Script. We at Byte use C Sharp for Unity, and we also think that it is the easiest to get started with. In case you want to learn data science and AI, just want to make some quick little projects or do some hackathons with friends or something like that, I would pick Python. Python is a very easy language to get started with. It's very close to English to just read, and the syntax isn't that bad once you get used to it. In case you want to create websites, you should learn HTML, CSS, and most likely JavaScript for more advanced functionality. And lastly, if you just want to find a job as a software engineer, I would suggest going C Sharp or Java. I see the most job, off job offerings for this one, and they are generally also the best paid. Lastly, if you don't know what you want to do in programming or just want to experiment or whatever, then I would also recommend Python, because it is, once again, the easiest language to get started with, in my opinion. There is a great community where you can find lots of examples online. Though please keep in mind that no matter what language you pick, you can't really pick a wrong one because almost every language we just mentioned has the same core functionality and a lot of concepts can be applied on other languages as well. So it's a lot easier to get to know more languages later down the road. So you chose your first programming language. Now let's focus on what you actually need to learn in this programming language. I'm just going to give you a list of things that I would learn if I were you, and I do recommend to keep it in the same order because it's the most logical in my opinion. And these are applicable to any language we just mentioned, basically. And of course, don't worry if you don't know what some of these things are yet. The first thing I would learn is what variables and data types are. This is very core concept of programming and is very important. Second, learn what if statements are or other conditions like switch case, depending on what language you choose. Third, learn functions, methods, however you want to call it. Fourth, focus on arrays and collections. Fifth, focus on looping through these arrays and uh, collections. And lastly, learn the basics of object-oriented programming. If you have these things under your belt, you know the basics about coding, and it should help you to get started. So now you know what to learn. However, you don't know where you can learn these things from yet. So I'll just give you a list of great resources in my opinion. The first one that I think is great is interactive experiences like Free Code Camp or Code Academy. Those are basically applications that just give you some exercises and give you instant feedback on what goes well or what goes wrong. This way you get feedback really quickly and is a great way to learn from your mistakes. The second resource you can use is what I call media. Think of books, blogs, YouTube videos, things like that. However, every programmer has their own distinct style of programming, so just focus on the concepts behind them and not super hard on how they do it exactly. It sounds very vague right now, but believe me, once you get started programming, you will understand what I'm saying. The third resource is to follow a course from start to end, be it online or in real life. Some examples of these are Codecademy, Udemy, or just follow a real life bootcamp. And then lastly, just start a massive project day one and Google your way through it. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, sounds good, doesn't work. Nope. What is the next stage? Your first project. Learning to code is all about making projects, be it big or small. Your first project should be something you pick yourself and that you're actually interested in. However, let me give you some criteria that I would have for a good starting project. First thing is find something interesting or useful to you. If you have to make it, you better have fun making it. Second, start small. Finishing projects is a massive boost for your motivation, so starting too big can really mess things up for you. The third is choose a project that someone has already made before. This is very good for when you 
are done and want to compare your work, or when you hit a roadblock while programming to see how they tackled that issue. However, do not just copy their work. You will not learn anything. So what did I do? One of the first projects I made was playing blackjack, which can easily be on found online. It's not too big of a scope. It's quite simple to make, and it's still something you can give your own personal touch to because you can make it how visual or unappealing as you like. To end things off, I'm just going to give you a couple of quick tips. Don't focus on the syntax too hard. Focus mostly on the thought process behind what makes your code work. The syntax you can Google, the logical thinking you cannot. You can lose a lot of time doing this. So just learn the basics. Find a mentor or just a nice community of fellow coders on Discord or something like that. This helps with motivation and lots of people are down to help you along the way. You can find these communities easily online for any specific programming language. And lastly, don't set your expectations too highly visually. It is way more important how the code works than how it looks to your eyes. Keep that in mind when starting. And that brings us to the end of the video. I hope it was useful to you. Don't forget to leave a like and share your thoughts down in the comments. If you're interested in making games and that's the reason why you want to learn the programming, do make sure to subscribe as well so you can follow along our journey and see what else we can teach you. Thanks for watching. Bye!